Hey everyone, what is status mask? It's very um, no critical question, but the answer is very simple. So here there's a two points, and let me explain one by one. Before that, first understand uh, what is DTC status. For understanding DTC status, you should know what is DTC. Of course, you are learning from the beginning of our uh, diagnostics, so probably you may know. Still, I'll give you a quick recap. All right. So what is DTC? It's a diagnostic trouble code. So diagnostic trouble code means in in a car, in a car ECU, right? In a car, it, uh, there is a component. Say for example, airbag is a one component. If there is some issue with fault with the airbag, then the fault stores into the ECU, airbag control unit. So the airbag control unit, the fault has been stored in the form of DTC. All right. So DTC is a diagnostic trouble code. Say for example, if there is some um, some inflation issue with the uh, airbag, then it stores the DTC as AA, BB, CC. It's a three bytes. Usually the DTC will be three bytes. All right. So um, the status of the DTC. So this three bytes added with that one byte that will be the status of the DTC. Say for example, it's uh, 8F. It is a status. So what this status tells, this status tells about the status of the DTC. That means if you are if you are analyzing this eight uh, bits, you can come to know what is the status of the DTC, whether it is active or not active. For time being, you just understand. You try to understand this, and how to analyze the status of DTC can be posted in the upcoming classes. All right. So remember. The status of the DTC tells about what exactly the status of DTC, either it is active or not. All right. So this is called DTC status. Now you got the definition for DTC status as well. So there is a sub function. Um, there are so many sub functions in the in the 19 service. All right. So in the read DTC information in 19 service, there are so many sub functions. Uh, most of these, uh, not most of the subfunction, few subfunctions uses the term called status mask. So status mask is a request word. It's an input word. It it is sent from the tester to the ECU. So what this status mask really request is, this status mask, or you can say DTC status mask. This DTC status mask request the DTC by St DTC status that's it it is a 8 bit information so this 8 bits um, this is what the 8 bit all right so this the, the DTC status mask has 8 bits that show the status of different DTC so this is a kind of a variable okay so DTC status mask if you request with this then you will get the DTC status DTC status so this DTC status is a 8 by 8 bits. That means this status, this DTC status mask holds this 8 bits. That means it is showing a tester that this is what the status of the DTC. And remember this DTC status will be unique for every DTC. If you have 100 DTCs, then you'll have 100 DTC status. Of course, there may be the chance of the DTC status or same for every DTC or different for every DTC 99% will be different for different DTCs all right so it did not it may not be the same but even there is a possibility so there is no harm in that all right so I hope you understand what exactly the DTC status is again at the end of this video I'll give one more layman term so that you may understand still better in a request message the tester can use this byte to ask the information about it. again same whatever I explained the same this is all about the DTC status mask. All right. Now give uh, let me give you some uh, layman term to understand exactly what is the uh, DTC status mask is. All right. Um, say for example, a teacher is asking a student like, what's what is his um, grade or what is his grade is he whether it is he's pass or fail all right so he is asking his grade 
consider this is a DDG status mask. He is either pass or fail. This is a status of the DTC. Alright? And he is a student. So consider student is a DTC. So the student status, whatever he own, the grade, pass or fail, that can be retrieved by the grade. So this is a DTC status mask. Alright? So I hope you understood with this as well. And if you have any questions, yes, you are always feel free to get back. We'll catch you in the upcoming videos. Until then, bye. Take care.